Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. It's good to have you back. Today we're going to be discussing how we can use AI to create laser files. So to start with, you want to jump onto your browser and go to bing.com forward slash images forward slash create. And that's where we'll do the process. So basically, the more you use it, the better it gets. So yeah, just play around, play around with your wording and stuff and then see what you can create. I've just created, um, I want to design a black and white image that could be used as a laser cut pattern for a window that's spooky for Halloween. It should have a skull as a center focus. So the program takes a little bit of time once you press that create button to process the, what you've put in and turn it into artwork, but I'll speed that through so that we don't have to sit waiting. So the first bunch is quite cool, you can see there's quite a lot of detail in the images and stuff but we'll talk about why I didn't think they were appropriate for what I'm doing um, and then we'll move on. So you can see here around the top of the image there's lots of bits that aren't connected to anything and there's a lot of fine detail um, that would be missed and you just wouldn't get that quality image like the eyes and stuff aren't connected um, Some of the the bits around the nose and stuff and the same with some of these pumpkins they're a bit mal shaped this one's a bit better but again there is parts to it and the same again with this they just they're not connected so you wouldn't end up with one piece if that makes sense like I don't want anything floating in the air because this is going to go on a window so I did it a few more times and I still found that I was getting the same sort of um, results so I decided to simplify it just taking out that it should have the skull as the centre focus and then creating something that way so this is more along the idea of what I was looking for it's not quite right so I decided what to do was to add design in after window uh, sorry not design display um, and that's when I start to get results that I'm really looking for so this is exactly what I was looking for. I really like that bottom left hand side one. The problem with it is that you'll see now once it loads is that there's too many bats in the middle and to join them onto the trees just wouldn't look right. So I decided to go for this one and there's two bats. There's a few bats in there as well that are loose but you'll see once I get it onto Inkscape what um, I can do to fix that. I also didn't like one of the pumpkins so I'm going to edit that. So you just right click and copy and then paste it into your Lightburn, not Lightburn, sorry, Inkscape. And then we need to do a trace bitmap. I don't, I normally have it up on the right hand side there, but I didn't. So you go to path and then you go to trace bitmap and then update it so you can see it there. I'm going to change the threshold so it picks up some of the finer detail a bit better. I did it uh, 0.850 to start with, but it was too bold and you lose some of the detail so what I'm doing is I'm just changing that threshold again to 650 this time and then apply it drag it across and I'm more happy with that now um, so as I was saying I didn't like some of the pumpkins and then you've obviously got some of the bats that are floating in midair so they won't actually show so what I'm doing is I'm just pressing Control shift and K breaks apart the image. Once I've done that, I change the fill and no fill and then go into stroke paint and change that to like a line fill. Now that means I can go in and remove the items that I don't want. So you can see me uh, selecting the bats there and these little circles. The reason I'm doing that is because they'll be floating in my there and I want this piece to be all in one piece. The next thing I'm going to do is edit this pumpkin shape out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it the bits I can and just delete them and then edit the nodes. So I'm just going to make that a square bottomed window and then extend the, the shadows underneath. So what I'm doing is I'm just selecting all the nodes and then I'll delete them and then add a new selection, uh, a new path in between the two end nodes. And then I do the same with this, although what I do is I stretch them out and then join up. So now that I'm happy with that, what we can do is add in the bat but what I need to do first is move it just for where I think I'm going to have it just to see what it looks like and then we can combine the whole image as one entity 
and then add the button. So now what I'm doing is I'm just selecting it all and then pre pressing Control and K which combines it all as one shape and then I can change the fill and then paste back in that bat, change that to solid. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that bat down into position and see where it looks best. Making sure it's overlapping the existing back black shapes and then press Control Shift and the plus button which will bring it all as one object. So now that I'm happy with the editing, what I'm doing is I'm just cutting it in half so it fits on the laser. Because this cutting's so big, I need to do it in two halves uh, so it blocks out the entirety of the window that I'm going to put in. So the black square is the window size and you could see I was just working out what half, this, half that size was so I can do two sections so when they butt up together they look perfect. So I'm aligning the bottom one with a very top of the black rectangle and the same with the or the opposite for the top one and then I just press difference in the path menu there and then that, that removes the redness from the black so you get the the right cut path basically so off camera there I added an eye and a mouth to the bottom right hand side pumpkin because I forgot to do that and now it's just a case of copying and pasting it into the Lightburn software and setting up the files there. Now that it's in Lightburn I've done some testing previously on some scrap that I've got and I figured out that it's best at 12mm a second at 50% power so that's what I'll set it up and do. So now the file is all ready to go, you can see it's going to take roughly 41 minutes to do this section and then we'll have to do the second section. But instead of showing how to set that up, what I have done is I've done something a little bit special and I've went and wrote an AI song or used AI to write a song um, about laser cutting and Halloween that I thought I'd play over the video. Just is something a bit different, you can either skip to the end or you can sit and listen to it. I think it's quite a wee bop to be fair. In meiner Erinnerung bin immer stand bereit in meiner Wonder Crime Lasers cut into the dark as I'm running through my mind Creeping shadows all around but I ain't scared of the dark Cause I'm the master of the shit and it's where I leave my mark Hey I was missing my ear, ghosts and spirits in the code Shapes take for my freaking sign, watch them glow and then explode Spooky vibes all in the air, I'm bringing Halloween to life With each cut and every burn I'm crafting creatures in the night In my 
eyes shut down and all the still late at night I'm on the grind Lasers cutting through the dark designs running through my mind From twilight till the morning breaks Shadows creeping across the lawn AI whispers keep me locked In this spell until the dawn I'm enthralled, the night is long But with every spark I see In the darkness I create Let these monsters run free Dreams, files made of magic tights In my condition of scheme Creating monsters in the night Files born from spooky spells I'm the wizard with the lights Craft the tales and cutting edges Monsters rising with each slice So yeah, make of that of what you will. It was just a bit of fun. Um, it just goes to show that AI isn't all bad. I think there's a lot of cool things that we can do with AI and if laser cutting is one of them, then awesome. Um, it just makes the whole process a bit easier and it helps get those creative juices flowing when you may be stuck in a bit of a rut or you're losing the mojo or if you have really no idea what you're wanting to make you can just play about with AI. I hope this video has been a great help for you. I hope that you've maybe picked up some tips and tricks. All the resources will be linked be below in the description so if you want to play about with AI yourself check that out. Um, here's the finished article up in my window in my kitchen I think it's probably going to end up in my kids room if I'm honest though so we'll see what happens there thanks for watching everybody goodbye